A North Dakota farmer has a warning for those who may need construction work done around their place. Get proposals in writing and don't be pressured to act fast. Officials say Robin Plasuk is a victim of fraud by a group called Irish Travelers. Michael Pates has more in this week's Ag Week cover story. This farm has been in the family for over 100 years now. Robin Plasuk takes pride in keeping up the family farm. In 2017, he had a new asphalt driveway installed, but when it started showing some cracks last year, he hired Sean Patrick Gorman to repair it. Plasuk thought Gorman was sent by a Bismarck contractor who had done the original work. When they got done, the job looked really nice and everything, and I even complimented them on the job. But then they told me they wanted $14,300 for the job. And I said, wow, that's a lot of money. It was more than $4,000 over what Plasuk expected to pay for the job. McLean County Sheriff's Office and several other agencies, including the state attorney general, are investigating complaints about Gorman construction. There's one person that's out over a million dollars for simple repairs on a simple house. Detective Maddie says more victims have been coming forward and criminal charges against the Gormans are mounting. They've also seized bank records and financial assets. They believe to be a part of a group called the Irish Travelers, working similar schemes nationwide. I think that they look for people that have a means to, to pay. A lot of the victims do have confusion and um, aren't really familiar with the construction, the way things go and how much things cost. Plasuk has advice for others to avoid fraud. Take some time to think about it before you hire someone. When somebody comes and wants to do a job right away that very day, uh, you know, tell them you'll think about it and you'd like them to come back tomorrow. And there's a good possibility they would not come back tomorrow. So take your time dealing with contractors. And if you think you've been taken, contact the authorities. For Ag Week, this is Mikkel Pates at Max North Dakota. You can read much more on Mikkel's story in the next Ag Week magazine or at agweek.com.